you all think is the most common money-related mistake that freshmen make? I could tell them. <laughs> <laughs> you, let, you let your personal expenses get carried away. Yeah. Uh, so like I see a lot of nods around there. Okay, guys, you can talk about it. Lesson stories. <laughs> I don't know, I just make constant trips to Walmart. I guess that's like a big thing in Ohio. Like I have a little money saved up for my phone bill and like different expenses I have to pay on my own. And I would just get carried away in there. Fans and comforter sets and detergent and things like that. And we'd always go, um, my school is like 40 minutes east of Columbus, like the major city. So we'd always go like Friday nights to movies or like to dinner or something. And like those $20 just add up. And I'm always calling <laughs> home. And it comes to paying for books, I'm always calling home like, oh, I need a another 300 or something like that so yeah my little like adventures and things like that those like little twenty dollar bills add up that's what i kind of noticed and i'm gonna try and change for the fall i spend a lot yeah it's the same case with me i mean but instead of books it's like you know art supplies i get carried away buying the stuff and then i realize i have to buy food and i don't because there's no cafeteria so i'm Calling my parents like I'm hungry, can I have some money for food? Is that where we got the term starving artist? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting a job my freshman year was something that I just totally regret now. Yeah, I wish that I had gotten a job immediately when I came to Boston and you know stuck with that. So now I'm trying to find a job you know to continue, but it's a lot harder now that I'm you know uh, living in Boston and stuff like that. Getting a job I think would have been one of the most important things I could have done.